What's going on guys? Today we're doing a little update on the farm here uh, with our goats and our chickens and uh, just explaining a little bit of what we've been up to. Um, got the kids out here helping me today, but uh, first we're going to show you our goats, uh, Dolly and Loretta, and uh, the little shed that we've built them out here. Okay, so I'll start with uh, explaining what their shed was made from, how it was made. It was a pretty large dog kennel that we ordered um, online years ago for some of our dogs. Um, we used to breed huskies and we kind of got out of that, so we repurposed this kennel to make a goat shed with, and we zip tied tin to keep the weather and the wind out all the way around and what's cool about it is because it was a dog kennel it has a floor on one side which is very easy to shovel out and clean and it has dirt on the other side that we put mulch on but it has dig bars which means nothing can dig into it so here's our little goats and they are half La Mancha half uh, Nigerian dwarf uh, dairy goats. We have Loretta here. Uh, she's the black and white one with blue eyes. And we have Dolly. And she's the creamy cappuccino white looking one. And she's got like greenish brown eyes. Maybe she'll let me show you. But uh, there are good little girls. They're getting bigger, probably ready to uh, breed and have some babies soon so we can get some milk production going. So as far as the fence, this is like their corral at the moment, but we're going to go up the hillside there and around to make it larger eventually and probably be adding more goats. But we've got uh, this cattle wire here for fencing with the metal T posts and it goes around we have an exit gate it goes around we've got their little play areas here they've got an old picnic table they jump on it goes around and then we've got the entry gate there so they've got a ample amount of space here to run around and play don't you girls come on up here But they're really sweet and good turned friendly goats. Very intelligent. <laughs> they make all kinds of funny noises, don't they? <laughs> but this is a lot of the reason um, that there hasn't been a lot of posting lately on the channel. We've been busy with our goat project, with the building of their shed and the fencing and getting the goats and getting them all ready and everything. We've got their uh, sweet feed, their mineral tray, their hay, which is most of their diet, and then their salt lick. We keep them a little bucket of water inside for when we close this at night. This is another pretty good feature about this, is that not only is it heavy gauge steel fencing here to keep predators out, but, uh, oh, you coming out? 
Come on out then. But it closes here and it has a deadbolt that slides down through both the frame and the door. And then it has a key here that fixes it in place so nothing can get into them predator-wise. We let them out every morning, put them up at dark every night, and uh, they've been kept pretty safe. The top here is unfinished. We're going to get some of that clear plastic um, tin sheeting to close in the rest of the top so it can let in light and we can make it open and close to let air flow. But they're pretty cozy. Goats can withstand pretty cold temperatures, so it's not a huge deal. But uh, we're gonna make sure that they stay nice and warm. Loretta's gotta announce her dominance all the time. Hey, Dolly. Hey, Dolly. That mean he's bothering you. <laughs> but they're a joy to have and the kids have fun with them and they're really friendly and smart little things. And uh, I'd say within the next year they'll uh, be doing pretty good on milk production and uh, we're going to redo one of our little pump houses that's no longer a pump house um, into a milking building and where we'll keep their medication and milking stools and all of that right there big lips huh This is going to be a rough, jostly kind of video, guys. I apologize. But we'll go take a look at the chickens in their house. Okay, guys, so this is our chicken house. It was made years ago uh, from a wooden shipping container that I got from my previous job. And we cut out spaces for the doors and the nesting boxes. It has eight nesting boxes and then a uh, hardware cloth window wrapped around the top, a tin roof, and it's up on two center blocks of height. And uh, it's nice. We have about 20 chickens, eight nesting boxes. You don't have to have a nesting box per hen but they get in there nice and packed in so that they stay nice and warm and that's important you can have a chicken coop that's too big and they won't stay as warm so it's important to you know get the right size uh, chicken house for your chickens but uh, we've got mostly new hampshire reds we've got some uh, red laced wyandots We've got just basically a barnyard mix of chickens here. We've got six ducks, uh, three Pekin ducks, and three Rowan ducks. Our only male duck is the green-headed Rowan. And uh, we've got uh, two roosters. One is a uh, bantam. It's a, a silky bantam. And then one is this guy. He's a New Hampshire Red. He's just now getting his green tail feathers in. But these uh, chickens, most of them except for three of our older ones, all hatched just a few months ago. So they're just coming into adulthood here and haven't quite started laying for us yet. Our new uh, refresh of the flock. Our uh, rowan ducks are about four years old, would you say? Four or five. And then the Pekin ducks are just a few months old. But uh, change their water out daily. They get it dirty pretty quick. They're sharing it with ducks, so that's going to happen. 
And uh, this is their entire run. It's made out of scrap lumber. And uh, there's a baseboard that goes around the border to keep things from getting in. And it's just closed in with chicken wire. And occasionally we have to blow the top with a leaf blower to get all the leaves off so it doesn't weigh down too badly. But yeah. I knew you couldn't resist. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Sound like a pair of ice grips. Yeah, they get a mixture of high protein chicken laying feed pellets and scraps every day. And they're just fun to watch and interact with and uh, we'll have a pretty good egg production going when they all come of age. This is the newest furry member of our family. He's uh, Miles the Golden Doodle. Miles, what are you doing, buddy? He's super goofy and super funny. <laughs> yeah, I think he does. And this is our six-year-old husky Sif. He's being very vocal right now. He's a good boy. He's my co-pilot. <laughs> what is it, son? Oh, oh are you mad? <laughs> See, we can't uh, let our husky or corgi loose like we can our golden doodle because they're too free-spirited and they'll try to run away. Ain't that right, Mr. Disappear for three days? This is our littlest fur baby, and he's uh, got the heart of a lion. His name is Cap, and he's a corgi. Ain't that right, buddy? Huh? Yeah. But they keep it. They uh, help us keep things in line around here. They always let us know if somebody's coming up to the house or if there's something in the yard. <laughs> this is the. Dottie at bars. He won't stop. Don't run, don't throw it away. Want some pumpkin? Does that smell weird? I don't think she's actually going to take like a big bite. Just trying to get the little stuff. Oh, I guess she likes it. That's a no from Dolly. But where is yes this? Yes or yes. Or a yes or no. You're going to get your head stuck, Goober. Whoa. You goofy goobers. It's too big of a piece. How about this one? This one's thin. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I <laughs> yeah, might not want to give her that giant piece. She'll get choked. Here, take this thin piece. There you go. You, don't you want can that. nibble on that. Don't you want it? No, we don't like it. Take it in. <laughs> <laughs> she takes it away. No. <laughs> okay, I don't think they like it enough. She just wants to nibble on it. Only they had pumpkins. Push me over. Huh? 
What are you two doing? Huh? Crazies. All right, but anyways, guys, that's just a little update of the farm and some of our livestock that we've uh, updated and our dogs you guys have never met. You've seen the chickens, I think, in the background of a few other videos. It's like ambient background type stuff, but uh, I've never done like an official farm, you know, update or livestock video. So if you guys enjoy this, let me know in the comments, but uh, I'll catch you all next time.